We're going to take a look at voice recognition or speech to text in Windows 10. Search for the word speech and launch Windows Speech Recognition. Just go ahead and follow the prompts. Click Next. Select your type of microphone. A headset microphone is recommended. Shows you how to wear your microphone. Click Next. Peter dictates to his computer. He prefers it to typing and particularly prefers it to pen and paper. Click Next. Click Next. Make your selection if you would like to allow your computer to review documents and email in your search index. I'm going to disable that. Next. On this screen you select your activation mode using your voice by saying Start listening or stop listening or manual activation mode. I'm going to go ahead and leave it manual for now. Clicking on view reference sheet does not work. It takes you to an invalid site, but I'll post a link to a reference sheet in the comments of the video. Click on next, click on next, and then you can run the tutorial. And it says it's for Windows 8. Not very helpful. Go ahead and close this. Make sure your speech recognition is on. Put the cursor in the document. Delete that. Hello cruel world. Period. How are you today? Question mark. Did you wake up grumpy? Question mark. Select all. Press control C. Clear selection. New paragraph. Press control V. Go to start of sentence. Go to start of paragraph. Go to start of document. Go to end of sentence. Go to end of paragraph. Go to end of document. Select grumpy. One. Okay. Clear selection. Select grumpy. Two. Okay. Delete. New paragraph. New line. Press tab. Press tab. Backspace. Backspace. Select question mark. 4. OK. Delete. Comma. Literal comma. Semicolon. Literal semicolon. Open double quotes. Close double quotes. Open single quotes. Close single quotes. Open parentheses. Close parentheses. Select world. 2. OK. Select all. Clear selection. Go to start of document. Select sentence. Clear selection. Select paragraph. Clear selection. Go to start of paragraph. Select next three words. Clear selection. Select previous three words. Clear selection. All caps. World. One. OK. No caps, world. One, OK. Change previous three words to uppercase. Change previous three words to lowercase. Delete word how. Two, OK. Go to start of document. Delete next sentence. Go to end of paragraph. Delete previous sentence. Delete next paragraph. Delete previous paragraph. Hello, no space there. Correct. Spell it. H-E-L-L-O space P-H-E-R-E. -E. Spell it again. H-E-L-L-O. Delete five. O. Space. T-H-E-R-E. -E. Okay. Period. What do you have planned this holiday weekend? Period. Go to start of document. No caps what? Uppercase what? Lowercase what? Capitalize what? Uppercase what? Capitalize what? Change the next two words to uppercase.
capitalize the next two words. Change the next two words to lowercase. Select the next two words. Press Ctrl C. Go to end of paragraph. Press Ctrl V. Delete holiday. One. Okay. Another important tip, comma. To ensure special commands are available, start speech recognition before you open your application. Period. For example, select special. Press Ctrl B. Select speech recognition. Press Ctrl I. Select, for example, press Ctrl U. Clear selection. Hello, cruel world. If your text appears in its own little box, that's because you've enabled the scratch pad, or maybe it defaults to that, I'm not sure. Delete that. Delete all. You can just disable that. Go to settings, options. Turn off the dictation scratch pad. You can fine tune your settings by right clicking up here. You can have it on, listen to everything, sleep, only listen for start listening, and just leave it off, don't listen at all. You can open the speech reference card, which does work, unlike the initial link presented when you first configure it. You can go to options, run it startup, you have it checked or unchecked, configuration, set up a new microphone or improve your voice recognition. This is a neat one. Open the speech dictionary. You can add a new word. So whatever word you say that isn't, that routinely isn't found in the dictionary or isn't recognized, you can add the word there and click on next. You can prevent a word from being dictated. You cannot enter spaces, numbers, and you can't enter words like Los Angeles. Let's take a look at some navigation commands. Start Notepad. Start Word. Test 3. Insert. Shapes. Rectangle. 2. OK. File. Save. Close Word. Open Paint. Switch to Notepad. Close Notepad. Close Paint. Open Control Panel. Region. Location. OK. Close Control Panel. Open Internet Explorer. Scroll down. Scroll up. Google.com. One. OK. Press Enter. Brownsville, Texas. Close Internet Explorer. Open Calculator. 5. Multiply. 8. Equal. Close Calculator. I hope this gives you a good idea how to get started with speech to text and how to use your voice to navigate. I will post a link to the list of all the commands in the video comments. I hope this is helpful. Thank you.